look, you can write because I don't have glass beads. I want to show you one million equal parts. Here they are. These are one million grains of rice. And we're going to use them to show one million parts per volume. Would you like to see how much carbon dioxide is in the air? I'll show you. 385. I've colored them red. 385 parts out of a million. That's what 385 parts per million means. 4% of this comes from human activity. That's about 15 parts per million. There you see them. 4% of that, 15 parts per million. 15 parts, a million parts. This is what comes from human activity. Billions and billions of people, that is all. Now I'd like to show you Methane. Methane. 1.8 parts per million. Nitrous oxide. 0.31 parts per million. Now, water vapor. Water vapor varies between 1 and 4%. 1% is 10,000 parts per million. This is what I want to show. Mainly this. 15 parts per million. That is what is in question today. Only 15 parts per million carbon dioxide from human activity. Thank you for listening. Let's look at the work of Dr. Rosine Lalamont because in her work, which you can look up online at the link that you see on the screen, she discovered that the clouds within the local interstellar medium, which is the area of space around the solar system, appear to be flowing towards the solar system from the direction of the galactic center. That means that we actually have proof that these energy fields are emanating from the center of the galaxy, rippling through space, expanding away from the center, and then impinging upon the solar system. You see the Milky Way galaxy, and as we zoom in on the Milky Way galaxy, you can watch these ripples expanding away from the center, expanding through the galaxy. And then when they hit our solar system, what do they do? They charge up the sun. The sun releases energetic particles. Those particles are captured in the atmospheres of the planets. The planets become brighter, they become hotter, they become more magnetic. And in fact, it's also now conclusively stimulating evolution on the planets themselves. When you look again at the 62 million year cycle discovered by doctors Mueller and Rode, you're seeing the actual signatures of these galactic energy waves rippling through the solar system, colliding with our Earth, and reprogramming the DNA on the Earth. 